and the email uh, on a Xerox Work Center or ColorCube device. Today we're using the new Xerox remote control panel for our training. It allows me as an IT professional to provide support to any Xerox capture in my fleet from my IT office. I can even help a user walk through how to do a scan to email uh, function while they're standing in front of the machine and I can be doing it from my office. So a uh, common question, uh, we're looking at scanning email today, so we're going to open up our email function. And let's take a look at this uh, device address book. This is the most popular way for folks to um, basically send an email. And um, we can look at email uh, contacts or favorites or all contacts. But as you can see, we have nothing in here. And one of the most common questions people ask is, I don't have anybody in my address book. How do I add them? And it, that's not done at the cap here. So we're going to go ahead and hit and minimize that and get that out of our way. Xerox has a wonderful feature called Centerware IS. All I have to do is put the IP address for the copier in a web browser. I can come out here and note one of my tabs up here at the top is address book. So let's open that up. Let's take a look at that. Let this come up and populate. And as you can tell, it, it really is very, very nice. So I can just manually add a new contact. I'll use myself as an example. Oops, very young and the company for color laser. Um, note here my email. So ray at fourcolorlaser.com. If I had a fax number, I could put my fax number in here. And then if I had some other destinations, uh, if I'm signed up with Xerox new connect key technology, I can scan to a Dropbox. And I would add those de destinations by simply clicking this add destination uh, scenario. And when I'm all done, I just hit click here on save. So there's one. Let's go ahead just for the sake of grins. Let's go ahead and add another one. See how quick and easy that is? Uh, we've got Debbie that works in our office. So let's put in her um, email address. She's with Four Color Laser. Her email address is Debbie at fourcolorlaser.com. And I can click save. See how quick and easy this interface is to add and populate your address book? Very intuitive. If I go back out to my remote control panel, now if I go back here, I can close out of this. If I go back to device address book, now note both of us are here. So I can literally, I can click on who I want to add, I can see uh, two or BCC very easily, just hit two. Note, she'll come over here, I'll go ahead and close this. If I wanted to add something that's not in my address book, and it's real, the address book you can, is pretty much limitless. So folks that you eat, email to on a co continuous basis, it makes some sense to go ahead and put them in your address book versus having the user sit here and, you know, even though the, as you can tell, the screen, the buttons are very large now on the color cube and works in our class machines. And so to uh, enter an address book, I mean a uh, email address, pretty simple. We've got the uh, plus com there for you. So I can hit add that guy there. Literally click close. The other thing I really love is my subject tab. It's just so easily accessible. Note, I can just start typing what I want the new message to be. Uh, the default best practice is a scan from your organization. I'm going to change the default subject to test. Note, if I do not uh, change anything, the file name of the PDF that's going to attach to my email will be test. Um, if I want it to be a different file name, just literally click on that and uh, go ahead and change that name. The default is auto detect. It's probably the best practice once again, but note, if you know that your document is only black and white for the sake of file size, you might want to go ahead and select black and white. Also, if your original is two-sided, uh, sending a two-sided original is not uh, very difficult at all. Just click the icon there and, and change that to two-sided. When I'm all done, uh, your user will just simply hit the, uh, the start button and out your uh, load the, uh, the original, of course, in the odd document feeder and hit the start button. Key thing to remind your end users when they're all done, go ahead and hit the clear all button before they leave the device. That basically sends it back to default and it's ready for the next user. And that's 
scan the email on a Xerox Work Center or ColorCube device.